Welcome back. I'm Bob Kirkpatrick with today's sports. Moses Lake Christian Academy's Alec Nakarada was named WIAA Player of the Week in Central Washington 1B Conference action for his performance in the game against Columbia Basin Secondary School January 4th. Nakarado hit six shots from behind the arc to finish with a game-high 26 points in the Lions' win over the Phoenix. Well, weather wreaked havoc with Columbia Basin High School sports last night as the majority of basketball games and wrestling matches within a 100-mile radius were canceled and rescheduled for a later date. But the Moses Lake Christian Academy Lady Lions got their game in against Easton. The Jaguars probably wish they'd stayed at home as they dropped the Central Washington 1B contest 65-10. Danny Sandberg led the way for MLCA with 31 points. Leah Galdera scored 28 points and Washington State beat rival Washington 82-80 last night to snap an 18-year, 36-game losing streak against the Huskies. Tia Presley added 13 points and the 3-0 Cougars moved to a first place tie in the Pac-12 Conference with USC. Jasmine Davis led Washington with 27 points and 9 rebounds. The Cougars, who have not had a winning record since the 1995-96 season, had not defeated Washington since turning back the Huskies 72-67 February 25, 1995 in Pullman. The Seahawks finished the regular season with the best pass defense in the NFL with three all-pro selections in the secondary. Their best performance came when they shut down New Orleans in week 13, holding Drew Brees to one of his lowest passing totals of his career. Now comes the challenge of duplicating that success in Saturday's NFC Divisional Playoff game against the Saints, knowing that Brees, Coach Sean Payton, and the rest of the New Orleans offense will try to counter what Seattle does so well. In the first meeting, the Seahawks were strong in two areas. They got significant pressure on Breeze with their defensive line to disrupt his timing and did not allow deep throws over the top, forcing Breeze to opt for secondary targets on short passes. Percy Harvin and Luke Wilson's return to practice raises the possibility of each playing in this weekend's game. Coach Pete Carroll said yesterday, Harvin made it through the two days he participated last week without any setbacks. Wilson's recovery is a, is a surprise after he was taken off the field on a cart after suffering a high ankle sprain in the Hawks' season finale against St. Louis. Well, be sure and tune in Thursday evening for our live coverage of the Warden High School girls wrestling match against Connell and Waluke. The action gets started at 7. Well, that's it for sports. We'll be right back after this.